My name is Jason Hackenworth. I live in New York City. I came to the New Children's Museum to make this piece right behind us, The Return of Trilodon. I think I always knew that I would be an artist. I, I remember making drawings as far back as I can remember doing anything. And it was always what I wanted to do most. I would sit around and during the weekend while everybody else was out playing, I would sit at home and make drawings. All sorts of things inspire me. In terms of an inspiration for a particular piece of work, it could be a conversation that I have with friends, it could be a book that I just read or a movie that I saw. The, the movie Pan's Labyrinth and the movie Hellboy have some amazing characters or creatures in there that I just think that's fascinating. So, so for me, I think inspiration comes from all over the place and definitely from other artists and from other art. The, the piece that I made here is, in my mind, comes from uh, from a mural that I saw at the Peabody Museum in New Haven, Connecticut. They have uh, one of the largest dinosaur bone collections in the U.S. and they let me create bone sculptures and hang them and light them dramatically around all of these ancient dinosaur bones that have been reconstructed. It's phenomenal. And while I was there working, they have this huge and famous mural of creatures from the, uh, the Precambrian era that are being discovered in the Burgess Shale. And I just started imagining some of those crazy things blown up so huge, what if they were to come back? So that's where that came from. I, well, I make drawings, of course, and uh, I create photographs of these pieces because they're temporary and they don't last. But what I'm very excited about is when I can create drawings uh, of basically create templates that I can transfer to plywood and cut out shapes that ultimately fit together in a similar way that one goes about building a boat and then these rungs become a structure that is much in the spirit of the work with balloons but is a plywood permanent material and has the buoyancy and the, and the weightlessness and they're, they're very much kinetic and when I have the time and I can be in my studio working on those that's what I love to do. Performance work came from, I think, two places. It, it sort of started as I've been a performer using balloons to entertain people on the street in order to make money and form tips. I had that performer nature in me, but the need to be able to showcase my work in an outdoor um, environment or setting, to be able to have it out for people to engage or to engage people and surprise people with it. To just put it outside somewhere and hang it up, it gets beat up, the wind, people steal it, things like that. So it's difficult. But when I realized that I could actually create sculptures that I could wear, I was able to use that performance personality that I have and, and uh, borrow from some of the things that I have learned as a street performer and engage people in a surprising and unusual way with these works that will in my mind, hopefully help to break down the barrier of contemporary art and common everyday life. A cry. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't make art. I'd probably sing or something like that. I'd probably play my guitar more. It reminded me of a museum in St. Louis called the City Museum. Uh, wonderful place, and if you get a chance to check it out. Um, but when when I looked at what NCM is all about, using contemporary art to reach kids, well, I mean, it's, of course. Hyperbolic geometrics. It's the same kind of geometry that allows coral reefs to form, and pretty much all living organisms are formed with a kind of hyperbolic geometry. How did I make this piece? I blew up a whole bunch of balloons and I started tying one to the other, and I continued to do that until this piece happened. 
I hope that everyone who sees it will have a, a different idea of what it is. I hope that they'll be inspired to imagine that it is something, or, or imagine that it's a whole bunch of different things. But ultimately, I hope that they'll be inspired.